Hello everybody, this is Kaizen here and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Now today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the Towny plugin. That is a plugin that servers use to create towns that people in the game can then join or create themselves. And it's one that I run on my server and a few of you have asked me to do a tutorial on this. So without any further ado, let's jump into some of the basic commands for that. Now you see here I've got Shadow Bunny, he's my alt account and he's going to help me out today with this uh, plugin tutorial. And I've created a big area here, a big grass area in the desert. You can of course do towns anywhere, I'm just making this area here for the ease of the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do on your server is type slash towny. Um, and basically what that will do is, first thing it will tell you is does the server have the towny plugin of course. And if it does this will come up. Now this here is each aspect of the towny plugin. And basically by typing in the aspect followed by a question mark, you will get a help page that comes up with all the commands and information on that aspect of Towny. So it's a very useful thing to have. And uh, I will, however, be going into some of the more basic commands in this tutorial. So once you've done that, really the first thing that you want to check is slash Towny prices. Because this here will show you how much it costs to start a new town and what the upkeep of that will be. So you can see here that a new town costs $250. The upkeep is $10 and that is done every 24 hours in real life. Now it's important to check this because if you do not meet the upkeep cost, your town will fall into ruin. Um, so obviously depending on the server that you're on, different amounts of money might be in place for how much it costs for the town and the upkeep. And of course it might be easier or more difficult to make that money. So you wanna get all that in place first because obviously you don't want your town to fall into ruin. Um, so the next thing you wanna do, I guess, is check your balance. Um, you can see here I have $831. So I do have enough to start a town, which is great news. Now, once you've done that and you're happy that you can meet the town uh, cost and the upkeep cost, the command that you want to type in is slash T new and then the name of the town, which we'll just call test for this tutorial. And because I want to be the mayor, I can just press enter now. However, if I wanted to create the town and make a different player the mayor, what I'd do is after the test, I just type in the name of the player that I want to be the mayor. Um, but I want to be the mayor, so we'll get rid of that, press enter, and you'll see it comes up in chat there. Kaizen created a new town called Test. So that's how you know it has been done correctly. Um, the other thing you can do is if you press F3 and G, this tip was given to me uh, by another player, so thank you for that. Uh, you get these chunk borders shown here in a grid fashion. And the chunk that I'm on right now is the chunk that I've claimed for my town. So each plot that you claim, and I'll come on to how you claim plots in just a second, will be a chunk in size. That's 16 by 16. That's the default. Um, and if you walk out of that chunk, you'll see it comes up as wilderness in the chat, and it says there PvP is on. If you go into your town, you'll see their test town, and PvP is still on at the moment because I haven't changed that. However, if you do want to change that, you do slash town toggle PvP like that. And it says there test PvP has been disabled. So now wilderness has PvP allowed, and the test town doesn't. If you want to change it back, you just toggle it once more. Most towns have PvP off, and you can, in fact, just set PvP on for certain plots. And again, that's something I'll come on to perhaps in another video, as today we're just doing the basic commands. So right now, of course, I've set up my town. I've got the PvP turned off. And the next thing you're probably going to want to do is claim a few plots so you've got some area to build your town in. Um, now, to claim a new plot, you have to go to an adjacent block like this that has not yet been claimed, of course. And uh, it needs to be right next to where you want to claim it. So this one here is obviously the one we have. If I go here, I can claim this one. However, if I go out here and I'm diagonal, I cannot. So we'll go into this one and it's just slash T and claim. However, before I do that, one thing I do need to show you guys, if you do just slash T, you get your town information. And one thing that's quite important here is the bank. And it's $0 right now. So it costs money to claim plots and it costs money for the upkeep. And that all comes out of the town's uh, money. So if I do slash bow real quick, okay, let's do slash T deposit 500 bucks. There we go. So now when we do slash T, you'll see I've got $500 in the bank. So this daily upkeep cost will come out of here. So you need to check your town's bank account, make sure you're meeting uh, the payments and those sorts of things. Make sure you keep money in here, not just in your personal account. Um, it is different. Now that I've done that, I can do uh, slash T claim and it will claim the thing, uh, the plot next to it. And this thing will come up in chat to say that it's doing that. Um, so right now you can see if I run out here, it will tell me that it's in the wilderness again. And if I go back in here, then we have our town. And now I can claim this one if I want to because it is next to it. So let's go ahead and do that. Claim a couple of plots. And if I do slash T, you'll see I've gone down to $450 now. That's because I've basically spent $25 on two plots is $50. And uh, that's come out of my town's bank account. The town size here, it says there is three out of 100. 
Um, so basically, this will vary depending on what server you're on. Generally, the ratio is 1 to 8. Now, what that means is for every one player in your town, you'll get 8 plots. So at the moment, I would only normally have 8. However, I've changed the configs for my server, but of course, not everyone will do that. So sometimes to expand, you'll need to get new people in. Anyway, that is now working nicely. I've got a couple of plots claimed. And the next thing you may want to do is change what happens with your home block. So currently, the first block that you claim is always going to be set as your home block. But you may want to change that. So I might want to make my home block say this one instead, for example. So if I want to do that, then I type in here what stood on the block that I want it to be. So I'm stood in the current chunk here that isn't the home block, but that I want to be. And I just do slash T set home block, all one word, like that. And you'll see there, my town's home block has now been set to here. Now, you may want sort of like a welcome sign or something, like let's say we had a welcome sign like this for new people that came to the town or some information or something. And you may think, you know what, I'd like my people to come here when they spawn here. So if you want to do that, then while studying your home plot, you just type slash T set spawn like this, and it will come up in chat to say that I've done that. So now if I run off wherever I am in the server, once I do slash T spawn, it will take me back to this area and I am back in the town. So, of course, this has to be in the home block, but as I said, you can change the home block. Now, as well as putting money into your bank account by slash T deposit, you can also do slash T withdraw and let's say 100 like that, and you take 100 back out of the town. So that's just a little command there that if you ever need to do that, then you know how to do it. Um, now, I said the daily upkeep is uh, on a 24-hour basis, and you can actually check by doing slash towny time when the next payment will be. So if we do that, uh, the time to a new day, we've got 20 hours, 52 minutes, and 26 seconds. So you know that in that period of time, you need to make sure you have your upkeep in there, your $10 or whatever it is for your server. Uh, of course, on this one, we've only just had one a couple of hours ago, and uh, that'll let you know where you're at on that so that you don't ever miss any of these payments. So once you've got your town and you start to do a bit of building, of course, one thing that you'll probably want to do is start adding people. Okay, so now you want to add people to your lovely new town. So to do that, we're going to do slash T, add, and then the name, which is Shadow Bunny right here. So once we do that, if I go to Shadow Bunny's uh, account here, you'll see that it's come up in chat saying that I've been invited to a town called Test, and all I have to do is slash accept if I want to join, slash deny if I don't, and right now I've joined the town. So you can see now if I do slash T, um, it will come up and say that uh, Shadow Bunny is a resident of the town and that we have uh, two people in there. So the ratio I've got on my server is 100 to 1, so we've basically got 200 plots available to us now in total. Um, so once you've got a member like this in there, and you've got your home plot set up, the next thing you might want to do is say, well, this guy's going to want a plot to build on, whether that's their house or something like that. So basically, you go to a plot that your town currently has, and what you're going to do is type in slash plot FS, which is shorthand for for sale, and then the amount. So you can put in anything from zero and make it a free plot, to any number that you like. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna put in zero like that. And it says there that Kaizen put the plot up for sale. So now if I go over to Shadow Bunny's account, we run over to the plot that Kaizen's on, you'll see there that it comes up in chat saying plot for sale zero. So if I want this plot for myself, I do slash plot claim, and you'll see it comes up there and says successfully claimed the plot for uh, from Kaizen Town. Uh, now if I just quickly go out of this one here and then back in, You'll see there that it comes up saying test town, so that's the town name, and then Shadow Bunny, so that's who owns it. And of course, it lets me know there's no PvP there. If I run over to here, then I'm back into the wilderness. And of course, if I were to go over to this one again, I'm back in the home plot, and it just says unowned. Um, so let's say, for example, I want to change the fact that a plot is for sale. So I've come over here, I've done a slash plot, FS, uh, zero. The plot is up for sale, and then I go, oh, actually, I don't want this one for sale. I'll change my mind. So slash plot. It's just NFS, shorthand for not for sale, zero, like that. And now the plot is no longer for sale. So that's if you make a mistake or whatever, that's how you do that one. Uh, the other thing is Shadow Bunny, he's bought this plot and he's got the typical buyer's remorse. So he wants to unclaim it. Well, all you have to do is what's still in that plot, slash plot unclaim. Oops, just get this one working. Slash plot unclaim like that. There we go. So now this plot is no longer Shadow Bunny's. And you'll see here, if I run over this way, it will no longer say Shadow Money's Plot. It's back for sale for the original price that I set it for. And of course, I can change that by doing slash plot NFS. And that is how you claim plots. That's how you get people into your town and that kind of thing. Um, 
Now, from time to time, you will have it where you'll have people that join your town and do a load of building work and that kind of thing. Uh, maybe protect their chests and doors and that sort of thing with LWC or Locket or whatever it is that you've got going on there. And then all of a sudden they leave and they don't come back and it's just this plot that's got loads of stuff on you can't do anything with. If that happens, then as a sort of an admin command or a mayor command, you can type uh, slash plot and then clear what stood on that plot. Um, so there you see it says it's cleared of all wall signs and all signposts and that sort of thing. So it gets rid of all that stuff so that you can then clear that plot out if you would like to do that. Um, now, a few other little commands that you can do that can be useful. Um, I said earlier you can uh, toggle with uh, certain plots so that you don't toggle the whole town, you just toggle the plot. So do slash plot toggle, and then you can do slash plot toggle, and let's say PvP. Okay, so PvP is enabled here. So if I run into this plot, you'll see here no PvP home plot for the town. If I run into here, PvP is allowed. So that allows you to have like little battle arenas or just certain areas in which the PvP is allowed, if that's what you would like to do. And if I want to change that, then I just type in the exact same thing again, and PvP has been disabled. So it's even something that you can toggle on for a certain period of time, and then change it to being off again uh, in the future if you'd like to. Um, you see here, as soon as you come back onto the plot, you get the uh, the no PvP coming back up, because we toggled that back off. Um, now, that is about all of the basic commands I think you'll need to do the town. It shows you how much uh, a town costs, how to put money into your town, how to expand your town. Okay, so I just deposited some more money into my bank account to show you guys this. If you want to do an outpost, basically what you want to do is slash T claim outpost like that. So there you see, it will come up in chat and tell me that I've done that. And although I'm not right next to places that I've already claimed, you'll see I am still able to claim it. And if you want to get back there, slash T uh, outpost, I think is the command for that. Yes, there we go. Okay guys, well that is all of the basic commands for the Townie plugin, so I hope that you found this video helpful. If you would like more information, please feel free to comment and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you have. And also, I'm very happy to make a more advanced video on this stuff in the future. If you would like, just let me know. But for now, that is all guys, so as always, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.